for Sun Media, and this is Extra Extra. Well, if you're watching the Grammy Awards on Sunday night, you know that Harry Styles stole the show. The former One Direction member opened the Grammys with a version of his big hit, Watermelon Sugar. Styles was dressed very simply with no shirt, a black suit, and a green feather boa. He stole the show. Word is he was so good that he's being touted as the next Super Bowl halftime performer. What do soaps and sports have in common? Take a look. Is there someone else? No. No way, there could never be anyone else. Okay, so just tell me. Okay. In 2012, I didn't have Lehigh over Duke like I told everyone I did. What did you just say? I had Duke winning the whole thing. My bracket was in ruins. The Plumley brothers, they were amazing. I, what was I supposed to do? Get out of my hotel. Don't act like you didn't think Austin Rivers was unstoppable, Get too. Get out of my life! <sighs> this is a fun crossover between Young and the Restless and March Madness, with the deciding national title game airing on April 5th. Elton John, who's married to Canadian David Furnish, is not pleased with the Vatican's response to gay marriage. The Vatican has said it will not bless gay unions because they're a sin. Elton John says this is hypocritical given the Vatican has used $1 million of its own money to fund his biopic, Rocket Man, which depicts gay marriage and sexuality in a realistic way. Some good news. Prince Philip has been finally let out of the hospital after a month's stay. He's recovering from heart surgery. He's 99 years old. Meanwhile, relations between Prince William and Prince Harry seem to remain strained. However, both men left messages for their mother, uh, the late Princess Diana, on Mother's Day, which was March 14th in the UK. The next uh, very anticipated uh, appearance by both of them is on July 1st, when a statue of Diana will be unveiled at Kensington Palace. And both both Prince William and Prince Harry are expected to attend that. Let us know what you think on Facebook and Twitter about these stories and more, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.